What's good guys, if you guys want the most cheap and most reliable EAFC24 coins, make sure you guys check out u7buy.com on making that team better. Also, if you guys ever want to make a purchase, make sure you guys use the code DAN to get 6% off on making that team better. If you guys ever want to sell your EAFC24 coins, go to the same website and go to the selling section as well. Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, y'all yeah, boys. And today we're gonna go ahead and review a big boy, y'all yeah, boys. 95 rated team of the year, Ruben Diaz. We're looking at a car at 6'2, medium high work rates, three star skill moves, four star weak foot with the right foot. Acceleration type is mostly lengthy, 88 pace, 81 passing, 83 dribbling, 95 defending, 93 physicality. Traits that the car comes with is power header, slide tackle, bruiser on plus anticipate intercept on plus block and he has area as well this is actually insane because almost everything in the defending category has a play style except for jockey that's actually pretty nice ruben diaz there's only one chem style to give the card shadow chemistry style you could give him the catalyst but i feel like shadow is the way to go acceleration goes up to 90 sprint speed gets maxed out 99 everything in the defending category gets maxed out 99 96 strength 99 aggression with 99 reactions guys team of the year ruben diaz is looking absolutely insane he is gonna be playing with this team right here right next to that rio ferdinand which is gonna be a very good test gonna be playing as a right cb y'all boys we want to see is team of the year ruben diaz better than team of the year van dyke is he better than team of the year rio ferdinand is he better than dynasty's maldini is he on the same level very big questions to ask ourselves we're gonna play some foot champs games, and I hope so, man. I really hope this Ruben Diaz is not a fraud. All right, here we go with game numero uno versus Tigres FC. Hopefully it's a good team. So the midfield is pretty good, and the attack is good. It's gonna be a good test for the defense. And we are not gonna get wide ball. Good stuff from Ruben. See Ruben versus Ribery. And a good tackle. Nice and easy. I'm not gonna lie to y'all boys. The turning on Ruben Diaz is looking pretty good. Very elite. Nice interception. Nice way to block that pass. That was clutch from Ruben. Nice good header right there. Let's see Ruben. Nice good interception. All right, way to keep on to. Not bad, I would have expected a better tackle to like retain the ball, but we do take that. Nice, good interception. Nice, would have get that ball right there. Come on, Ruben, and let's go. Prevents the wide ball. Great pass as well. Nice. Way to stop him right there. Good pass as well. Nice. Good interception. That was fire. Nice. Good defense. Retains the ball. Good tackle. Good defense. Good step from Ruben. That was nice. Look at that, y'all boys. The defense from Ruben Diaz leading to the clear chance for Mbappe. We do move on that. Nice. Very good tackle from Ruben. Good pass as well. 
Nice tackle once again. Great interception. Nice, good tackle right there versus Henri. Great pass as well. Nice. Doesn't get all wide. Shaky pass, but still works out. Nice. Way to clamp up on Ray once again. Nice and easy. Let's see Garnacho versus Ruben. Great physicality from the boy Diaz. Nice, good tackle from the back. Good stuff, great stuff. All right, boys, and that concludes the review for 95 rated Biggity Boy Team of the Year, Ruben Diaz. Coming around 3.3 million coins on the market. I'm not going to lie. That's actually quite expensive for Team of the Year Ruben Diaz. There's only three of them right now by the time I'm recording this video. But we played four games with the card. Four light, easy wins. Now I'm going to go ahead and say that Team of the Year Ruben Diaz is obviously a top 10 CB in the game. He's absolutely amazing. But this might be a hot take. This might be a hot take for some people. I don't think he's better or on the same level as Team of the Year Van Dyke or Team of the Year Rio Ferdinand. That that may just be me. That might be a hot take for some people. Don't get me wrong. Team of the Year Ruben Diaz is fire. I just think that VVD and Rio are just a little bit better. And I'll get into that in just a second. But what works a lot for this Ruben Diaz Team of the Year is basically everything. 6'2", the height is absolutely amazing. Work rates, medium high work rates. For those of you guys that believe in work rates, is absolutely amazing. Four star weak foot, a very underrated pro right there. He's able to pass with either foot with that 99 short pass, 94 long pass, guys. Let me say that again. 99 short pass with the four star weak foot. That is absolutely amazing. Next pro from the card is the pace. The pace split is a little weird, but it's still good. It's very, very good. 82 acceleration going up to 90, sprint speed from 92 going up to 99 because the trailblazers or rule breaker whatever the hell this card was he had 65 pace that car was absolutely dog shit i don't care what anybody says some people are going to defend that that car was nice they had to give this ruben diaz team of the year a huge pace boost and they did so i'm glad they did next pro from the card is that his jockeying is actually really really good you know even though he doesn't have the jockey play style he has 72 agility 70 balance 99 reactions his jogging was very, very nice, even in bad gameplay. And dribbling out the back was actually good as well because Ruben Diaz usually has a thick and clunky body type in game. But with the 99 reactions, good agility and balance, 91 ball control, he felt really, really good dribbling out the back for a CB. Now, something from this Ruben Diaz that I didn't find on the same level, or I should say, I didn't find it as perfection compared to somebody like a VVD Team of the Year or Team of the Year Real Ferdinand is that force field that whenever you're manually selecting a card, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but VVD has this weird force field that if anybody comes next to him, he just automatically glides and tackles the fuck out of them and gets the ball very easily. I wasn't really getting those same vibes with Ruben Diaz. Yes, Ruben Diaz won almost every single tackle but it felt like I had to put a little bit more effort into tackling the ball, if that makes any sense. I had to put a little bit more effort into tackling my opponent, which is something I don't really want to do that much with a team of the year defender. I don't mind because, you know, I think I'm a, an above average defender in FIFA. But when I'm using cards like VVD and Real, I don't got to try that much. I can literally be leaning back, not even trying, and they will defend for me. For Ruben Diaz team of the year... I wasn't really getting those vibes consistently. So that's just something. That's the only thing I will say that I'm going to give him a knock for. Other than that, body type physicality is good. Defensive AI is really good. He's always at the right spot at the right moment. Very good with the manual interceptions. I mean, he does have intercept on gold. If you manually select this card, 
he's gonna intercept every single ball and keep on to it. You guys let me know in the comment section down below, where would you guys rank Timidio Ruben Diaz? Is he better than Van Dyke for you? Is he better than Rio Ferdinand for you? Is he better than Dynasty's Maldini for you? Let me know where you guys would rank him. I'm really curious. For me, he's around the top five to top six range, in my opinion. As of right now, maybe when I try him out even more, maybe my mind will change for the rankings coming next week. But for this card, he's going to get a thumbs up for me. And rating-wise, he's going to get a solid 9.5 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for supporting all the videos. You guys are absolutely amazing. You guys let me know in the comment section down below who do you guys want me to review next. Like I said in my other videos, I'm going to try my best to review Team of the Year CR7. No guarantee. No guarantee. Nothing is guaranteed. And I'm going to try my best to review some Team of the Year Honorable Mention SPCs. I know they're dropping a Saliba. I know they're dropping a Luka Modric. I'll try my best to review those cards as well. The grind don't stop. Till next time, it's been your boy Dan FIFA, and I am out. Bye-bye.